Hey guys, we were able to get offshore the other day and caught some kingfish and we're gonna fry up some kingfish balls on our new RV Works Cajun Fryer. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of French's yellow mustard. Uh, the mustard will take some of that real fishy taste that, that kingfish has sometimes, and it'll reduce it quite a bit. Plus, it gives it a little bit of more binding and more flavor for the uh, for the breading. You can use French's, you can use store brand, just a yellow mustard. I've even used honey mustard before. Didn't like the way it tastes very much, but that's what we use. Now we'll put a, two cups of milk, get that poured in here, and then we'll uh, season the dredge mixture with a little bit of uh, Cajun seasoning. In, in this instance, we use Slap Your Mama. Uh, we use it on just about everything, especially fish related or seafood. So we'll add a little bit of a sprinkle of uh, Slap Your Mama and then two eggs. So we'll get two eggs in there and we'll have our binder together and start dredging these kingfish balls. As you know, or those of you that may not know, kingfish balls are a way of cleaning a kingfish where you cut stripes down the side of the kingfish and then poke your fingers in and pop those out. We'll have another uh, video sooner or later that, that'll kind of show this catch and cook, so to speak, and uh, give you a good idea how to get those kingfish balls out of there. So we'll get this dredge all mixed up and uh, then we'll make the dry ingredients for the batter. So for the dry ingredients of this batter, we're gonna use one cup of flour, and we're gonna do two bags here. Uh, sometimes we have, we have a bunch of fish here, and sometimes when you use too much fish in, in one batter, it gets really clumpy, and we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna put one cup of all-purpose flour in each one of these Ziploc bags, and then we're gonna add two cups of Zatarain's fish fry to each one of these bags also. You can use the Zatarain's by itself. I prefer not to. It's a little bit too crunchy for me. That's just my preference, but it gives it a little bit more fluffy, uh, floury batter if you mix it with flour. So the Zatarain's is already seasoned, but uh, we're gonna add some seasoning to it as well but two cups of, in each one of these bags with that one cup of flour works out, works out perfectly. Like we said before, it's already seasoned, but we're gonna add Slap Your Mama to each one of these bags, just a few sprinkles, and we're gonna add granulated garlic. Then we'll shake it up, mix it up, and get ready to dredge our kingfish and get them battered up. For coverage purposes and really for cleanup purposes, I prefer to use the, the Ziploc bags to do my fish dredge in. The coverage and the ease of cleanup is amazing. So we'll just take these kingfish balls, drop them into the dredge. Again, the dredge is eggs, milk, and the yellow mustard. We'll drop those in there and then we'll drop them into the Ziploc bags and give them a good shake. So we'll do that now. So just drop the balls in there. I usually try to keep keep it to four, five, six, seven of them uh, so you don't get too much moisture in there and start getting the little crumbs. So you get those sh shaken up real good and then just set them in a pan, uh, have them ready to go out to the fryer. While we get this finished up right quick, if you love the video or like what we're doing, hit that thumbs up button, we really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing so you won't miss any of our future recipes. So we got the RV works up to 375 degrees. We're gonna throw this kingfish on. It should be cooked for about three minutes and uh, we'll get it off. I'm gonna throw it in a little at a time so it doesn't stick together. Just 
thing holds quite a bit of fish, so just load it on up. Do this at 375 for about three minutes. See what it turns out. We'll be back. All right, first batch is done. Let that drain for a minute. Put the second batch on. Yep, right at 150 degrees. Put some AP season on this stuff. Killer hogs. That works good on everything. I like Frank's Red Hot. All right, we'll get the rest of this cooked up, then we'll bring you in and uh, show you what it looks like inside.